Moore, and I live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and South Old New York. This is a $100 quilt that I started in 2001, finished in 2002. I started the quilt, the idea from the quilt really began on a ski trip. And my family was going skiing, and I was going to stay in the lodge and stitch and take care of them when they came in. And I was planned to find some materials when I was there, buy them the way I, this is how I like to work, and see what I would make. So I was going to a hotel, I'd find some fabric, I'd find something in the store, I'd find a sewing kit, and I would make something while I was there. There was nothing to buy. <laughs> and really nothing, but I did manage to get a sewing kit, and I started playing with the very dollars that I would have spent. So instead of spending money, I decided, you know, with, with my post-consumer consciousness, I would just use the money that had been created, instead of using it to buy something. And really, the reason that people use money is it's made out of fabulous paper. And it's really a very high-quality rag cotton, and you can stitch into it, it very easily. I tore up the money, and it was a really scary thing to do. I tore it, and I reconstructed two dollars back into a one dollar, back into a square. A lot of stitching and embroidery, and that's where the, the hundred dollar quilt really came from. I decided instead of buying materials, I'd use these beautiful green rag paper to create a quilt making you know, the statement about what, what is the value, what's the value of $100, what's the value of money. Recently, I have um, brought this work out to show here, and it's traveling to a number of different shows after this, and looking at this $100 quilt, it didn't look like $100 to me anymore. I looked up what inflation had been from 2002 <laughs> to 2013, and it was actually 29.8% in those years. So I decided a few weeks ago that I needed to put another $29 on this quilt. <laughs> I did so with 298 dimes, which of course then I had to drill holes into. And it really, I think, I don't know whether I'm going to do this again in 10 years, but I think that it really made a much more complete piece at this time. It had the right amount of embellishment in it. It showed, you know, 10 years worth of, you know, of life. And um, so now it is again a $100 quilt.